Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Kid Rodan. And today, I have another martial arts film to review for you folks. Of course, it's old, it's low budget, and fairly obscured. And the film I'm talking about is the one titled The Big Fight. So yes, this is the one I'll be talking about folks. It's the English dubbed version, just so you know. Alrighty. Alright, so... Of course, as usual, let's talk about the plot, shall we? So let's get into it. Here we go. So pretty much taking place during World War II, where the Japanese have pretty much occupied most of China, and yes, pretty much used the Chinese people for slavery, in a sense. What I'm referring to is forced labor. So they've been forced to do that by the people who are invading their country. Uh, and yeah, they were being, uh, of course, being really cruel to them. So obviously, since there's tension between the Chinese and the Japanese, some of the individuals, some of the citizens in this country, of course, decide to cause a rebellion. So uh, some sort of resistance, of course, while their enemy uh, decided to do that and go against this... Um, they were invaders and stopped them and make sure that they would just go away if they be, just beat them up enough, I guess you can say. So they just have to make sure that they have to do what they have to do. So if this sounds like a bit of a drama, that's that's because it is. And yeah, okay. So I guess for the people who made this movie, I guess they're trying to use some real life inspiration. For something that ha actually happened. I'm referring to this event in China. And yes, there was also plenty of rape going on as well. It was this mass murder uh, of these citizens of uh, Nigeria. Excuse me if I put that name. And yes, with it's in regards of the Chinese citizens. It took place in the capital of the Republic of China immediately after the Battle of Nanjing. excuse me if I butcher that, and in the second uh, Shino-Japanese War by the Imperial Japanese Army beginning on December 13th, 1937. And yes, of course, this was pretty horrible, obviously, but there's also things like Mass rape, as I mentioned earlier, uh, looting, arson, just to name a few things. The massacre was often considered to be one of the worst atrocities that was done during World War II. So, yes, there was plenty of things that could be said about this, like the fact that this was often covered up by the Japanese government. So, yeah, things, yeah. I do think it was. A bit of a missed opportunity here where they could have actually acted as if, okay, if Japan had won the war, though that may be a bit of a stretch when you think about it, but just play a, a situation where they actually have had won the war, war two, I mean, of course, and that, that, leads, that lends to itself a bunch of possibilities for storytelling when you think about it, so it kind of wish they did that. So, yeah, the thing is that I'm reviewing because, okay, other than the fact that I like reviewing old movies and it's Kung Fu, it's on my to-do list. Again, it's technically a notebook, which I realize, yes, but um, I kind of have a to-do list since I have plenty of stuff to talk about to begin with. So, I guess, you know, here we are, I suppose. But, yeah, put that to a side. Anyway... Um, uh, this movie wasn't too bad, I suppose, even though I did think it was a bit overused on the idea that, okay, having the Chinese going off the, and the Japanese, um, ba the same basic setup, I've seen, uh, I've seen this plot line played out in various other Kung Fu movies where the Japanese are mistreating the Chinese and they have to rebel, and I've seen the same basic, like I said, the same basic setup in other Kung Fu features. And uh, this was not the first time I've seen this kind of thing played out. But, like I said, it was, it was, it was, a, it was 
solid, I guess. I, I did enjoy it, but I, I would have enjoyed it a bit more if, if the same kind of basic plot wasn't played out too many times already, as it is. So, as it stands, yeah, like I said, it was solid. I've seen better, but yeah, at the end of the day, I don't necessarily hate it, really. I mean, I I get it. I get it. They're trying to have uh, an underdog kind of a story be put in the, in the, in the plot. And of course, not all Japanese are going to be like this. Not every single Japanese is going to be a, a bloody monster. Not all of them. You can say that for anybody. For the Chinese, for the Koreans, the Vietnamese, anybody. Anybody that's good and bad eggs in every country. You know, the, that's obvious. But, and I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, I'm not trying to say that Japanese are a certain way. There's no agenda here. I'm not, I'm not trying to promote the idea that the Japanese are a bunch of assholes. I'm not saying that. Just because some of them are does not mean all of them. There's good and bad eggs everywhere. Just throwing that out there. So anyway, for it's worth, of course, there's going to be plenty of kung fu fighting. That's, the fight scenes are well choreographed and they're really well done. And, uh, I like what, we're try what they were trying to do in this movie, even though I kind of felt like, okay, okay, I get it. These soldiers are assholes. They, they, put, they probably put much, too much emphasis on that, like the crew, the crew. I, I get it. I get it. You have the, so much emphasis on that. I get it. But, um, it just came off like maybe so at moments, they're just making the Japanese mean just to be mean, just to be cruel. I mean, okay, I get it. I get it. You don't have to put so much, you know, beat me over the head with it. Like, all right, fucking get it. But, uh, but anyway, overall, it's not terrible. I've seen worse. I've seen better, but, you know, still wasn't too bad. And I'll give this film an overall rating. Of a 6.5 out of 10. It gets a 6.5 out of 10 for me. And as always, thanks for watching. And take care. Until next time. See ya. Oh yeah. Later.